Hi, and here we are again. Another weekend, another video, another load of work. As you can see, the front end is all back together now. I spent a few hours during the week uh, after work, so I thought I'd get as much of them as I can during the week. And that will save me time at the weekend. So, the front's back on. I changed the drive shaft I broke last time, because uh, that really annoyed me. The uh, wiring's all back in, everything works. It was literally everything, plug it back in and it all works straight away. There's no faffing around with bad herbs or connections or anything. Spaghetti, pile of spaghetti over there. New fresh coolant, oil leak seems to be cured. I've uh, just got to change this front shock and hub because the disc are rusty and I've got better ones as I said in the previous video. But today it's not my favourite job, but I've got to do it today because if it rains during the week, I'm stuck. I've got to get that done. Now, it doesn't look too bad, but the inside section here, the bottom of it, doesn't exist. And the back piece of it there is gone. It's fairly substantial. And it's only a curve with a flat bottom on, so it's easy enough to make. It's just awkward because of the access with the suspension. So, I've cut all this off and make a new section, cut it all out, all the rot out, make a new section behind and weld it in onto the inside of this and then wherever I can get to on the opposite so it's structurally strong um, and then just tack it where I can reach on the back, the actual strength will be on the inside and then put a new plate all the way right round, fill it with wax and then we're good. <sighs> Interior's looking a lot better. The uh, carpet came up really well. Dashboard's gone back in. This is really annoying me because it keeps coming off. I recovered it and it's stuck everywhere apart from this bottom edge because it folds back, doubles back on itself. So I bought some trim clips. See, even that bit there. It's all the way along. The trim clips are for um, MGB seating and carpet trim, I believe. They're like. Um, little metal spring clip so it'll actually clamp onto it and hold it along the edge so I'll stick half a dozen on each side but yeah it's come up quite well I decided for now to leave the radio out as it was when I got it because it's never had one there's no holes for anything so the uh, originality for now it's MOT booked for Friday so that's six days so five days of work of which five days I'm at work. No, four days out of that, sorry. So I've got today and tomorrow to get the welding finished this side. This side isn't bad. I'll treat that with some uh, zinc primer and then cut out the top edge a little bit more to get just get rid of this double skin where it's rusty and clear that edge off. I'll clean all this all together. Put a new piece in there, then spray it all with wax. Everything else under there is all done. Sorting out the seat belts. The I'll turn you around a little bit. The mountains from here. Well, when I got it, the, the seat belt literally went from the top corner up here, the static belts, to there. So if you had an accident, it would basically you would be in the gap between sort of between there and there because there was no lap. It would have gone round you. Probably just tied you in a knot. Or chopped you in half, whichever way. But to be fair, to be fair, if you had an accident, all the seatbelt's going to do is keep you uh, in the car. It's not. I don't think there'd be much um, saving going on. But right, I'll get the welder out and make a start, and I'll do a bit of an update once that's gone. See how it goes. You'll see it sort of straight after this. I have no idea how long it'll actually take. I'm back now. Been a while. The uh, rot in the back of it proved to be a bit more than I thought. Uh, the panel itself, has, it's like a box section on three sides and then you've got a panel on the uh, inner wheel arch that covers it all up. I've had to uh, make part of that and cut it all out. It's uh, not the greatest, I need to do more prep work and cleaning but I've managed to make that which will fit around here. And basically tack it into place and then uh, 
start seam welding around the back end of it it fits quite snugly against the back of the chassis rail the, the back there so once i've done that and clean the top edge up a bit more i've got something to work with and hopefully you can weld old rusty steel again it's a bit more of the old old roof that I chopped up so it's authentic uh, east german steel not that it really matters but yeah, it's uh, a bit of manipulating and shaping gone into that to get it to uh, curve in a few directions. It's not quite as curved as it should be, but it'll work. It's uh, time to get the welder fired up. I'll stick it onto a time lapse because it takes forever, as anybody knows, it's doing welding, especially in old metal car, uh, old rusty cars. And we'll put it together later on. Well, that's been quite a productive day. The uh, got the welding done. It hasn't rained, <coughs> which it was forecast to do. This was a quick, easy side. Literally just that square patch there. Cut out of the rot earlier on. And then on the inside, I'm a bit. Out of that. On the inside, just clean it and uh, where the rust in the corners. It's on the surface rust, much like the inside of the roof for the old one. This side was a bit more in depth, as you saw. The um, box section, bottom, back, and everything had all gone on this corner. However, it was a pain to get at because the, the suspension and the chassis and that's in the way. But I managed to weld it, replace it from the inside, and then get in, seam weld it inside, and then get to the outside and tack it in, very, in various places, which has uh, helped it be a bit more secure, but it was solid anyway. And it'll all be covered in black wax once this is dried properly. But I've had enough. It's a bit on the warm side still. But that's the bulk of the work done on it now. The um, interiors go back in tomorrow. Then it's just the last bit of brakes and things. I did the, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier in the video because that was in real time, it was about eight hours ago. Um, the screen wash bottle I've refitted, sorted that out, got that working, all the wiring's in, tidied the wiring over there. Pretty much, oh, we've got a spare horn. Don't need that, because I fitted the original one. So uh, the uh, front seats, just gonna give them a quick vax. They're not as mucky as they look. I think it's just the light with them being uh, silvery gray. They change color depending where the light is. Give them a quick freshen up. Um, the only really annoying thing is just the nature of how they are. That side of the seat, it's got a couple of splits in because it's old school and it catches on the inside of the frame. I am going to glue some uh, vinyl on the inside of it to strengthen it and try and hide it a little bit. But uh, it's just that one side of the driver's seat. The spare parts car I had, the driver's seat was knackered and the passenger seat, uh, it's got the same sort of split. It's not as bad as that one, granted, but if you remember on the other video, it had a small... Uh, forest grown out of it so i'm not entirely sure how good the fabric and everything will be after being uh, soaked soaking wet for ages and then going green it tends to uh, rot things but uh, we're getting there remembered earlier i need to paint the wheels although they're not horrendous they're they're a bit scruffy odd color but it's more of the original color they were similar to the car itself i think i'm going to go for a silver gray just something that's not quite as uh, 
I don't know what the word is. Odd. But silver grey wheels. I've got a uh, set of wheels to pick up and uh, hopefully they'll change how it looks. Standard wheels, just slightly wider because the, uh, they're really skinny on this and there's plenty of room underneath the arches. If they don't look right, I can change them back. They, uh, just a case of clearing up now, really. So hopefully this video isn't too long and I sort of do bits in, during the day and then they all add up. But uh, for now, anyway, I'll uh, put this together and I'll see you later on. Hopefully uh, you'll like this. And I'm going to go cool down a bit because I'm boiling. Cheers. That's dried because it's quite warm. I sprayed the wax on, but it's really thin and it's dripping. But you got that repair there. And obviously there's the worst side. A lot more involved. Is all uh, all done. Spread for the wax on the inside now. So I should do for a while.